You guessed it, guys. This is the Quinjet. Yeah, looks cool, right? And it's so simple to make. You want to know how to make this? Let's get started. But before, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my videos. So, take the paper. My paper is 21 by 21 centimeter. We need to make a water bomb base. Now, what's a water bomb base? I'll show you. Fold it into a diagonal. Crease it. Open it. Do the same on other diagonal. Okay, just crease it. Open it. Now, you need to fold this paper on the opposite side. And then, all you need to do is Fold it like this. This is known as a water bomb uh, base. And uh, if you don't know how to make a water bomb, I'll post a video. Just make sure to subscribe so that you'll know when I post the video. Now, fold it this side. And this one on this side. Just like that. Now what you need to do is, you need to take this point and fold it till the middle. Crease it properly. And now, fold this point till the middle. Well, this is not exactly necessary. We just need to divide this paper into eight, uh, eight parts. Okay, so I'll just show you. And now, fold this till here. So, how are we folding this? The middle line should be aligned with this crease. And this edge point should be aligned with this line. Crease it. Repeat the same on this side. Okay. So now we got our paper. Next step is you need to fold it this side. Alright. So as you can see, we have divided our paper into eight. Just we skip the last two creases. So it's uh, basically in sixths. So now what you need to do is you need to fold it this side. So these two flaps only we have made. And take this crease till the middle line. So you just fold it like that. Okay. Press it. Fold this here and now repeat the same on this side. Crease it and fold it this side. So basically now this is uh, almost as the base of our quinjet. Uh, we are going to be using these two flaps for the wings. And these two for the upper wings, small, uh, the ones. Okay. If you see this reference image here, 
the highlighted part. Now, next step is we need to fold these two flaps like this, crease it, and this one too. Crease it properly, and now you need to take this point till this part. your paper is thick do it slowly okay crease it there and now fold it opposite side just leave small space to fold it on the opposite side just like that okay so now if you see we have made this cockpit the glassy area and this part we are going to be folding now so that uh, we make the quinjet shape okay now this part is a bit tricky what you need to do is first you need to fold you see this line we need to make a line imaginary line so I'll just uh, make a reference line and this referen uh, reference line is going to be used now after some time. Okay, so basically the reference line goes uh, from here like this to the cockpit. Okay, so this, uh, this is going to be the extra area, the ones besides the glass pane. And to, for the reference, you see this point is just a bit after this crease, okay? Just a bit. Okay, taking that as reference, fold it partially, okay? Like this. Okay, just uh, a partial line. And now, you need to fold this flap inside okay so as we are doing this the wings are already starting to come down taking the shape of the quinjet so just we need to fold this uh, it was like this so we are just folding it like this okay so this has uh, made the shape of the quinjet wings and we are going to do some more changes to the wings in some time. Repeat the same on this side. So basically you fold this almost uh, till the edge but you leave some gap and use that as reference line make a crease there and uh, i'll just uh, zoom in so that you can see yeah you see you just need to fold this in uh, inside one like this just fold it like that align it with the upper ones and as you can see this has uh, given our wings very nice shape okay next step is uh, to fold these two upper points like this and like this this is uh, purely for the design so that it looks better okay and now we need to fold this uh, these flaps uh, so that uh, you can see in the reference image so it's kind of like a L shaped so we are gonna do the same you need to fold these uh, two points down to flaps okay and now watch this carefully you need to fold this point inside while keeping this out so 
turns into something like this okay you can fold this more just like that and now take this flap up so as you can see we have made that uh, iconic thing and I feel that it's a bit too small so I'm gonna use some more paper for it so uh, as you can see it's almost touched the edge part now okay or there is another way you can just uh, fold this uh, like this and then you can put this up so this is a design process actually I'll make another video just comment down if you want and then take this point up just like that see so it looks good just uh, shape it out a bit and repeat the same on this side I'll make it just like that okay so now we have most of the, uh, our quinjet done now we need to shape the wings a bit and uh, the wings are actually the easiest yet it uh, affects the most of our model so first you uh, hold these two points like that down okay just hold them together so that it makes the good shape of the quinjet and now take this point till this point like that so what we are trying to do is we are trying to make the quinjet distinguished to its each unique parts okay like that repeat the same on this side just like that okay and now you need to take this part uh, this point okay and now so you need to fold this tip not too much just a bit down like this and uh, open it up so that it's uh, just like the image and this side too down and open so as you can see the quinjet looks uh, really cool now but there is one thing missing and can you guess what it is this tip right here it looks bad so what we are gonna do is we are simply gonna fold it down and actually we are gonna keep it open but it will look like it's a bit 3d so we are gonna curve it a bit okay just like that so now as you can see our quinjet is done and it looks uh, really cool just like the original one so yeah oops yeah <laughs> so thanks for watching guys give a like and subscribe and don't forget to share